Hey guys, what's up? I am the Storm Child, and now finally, 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 uh, my concert review from Beast in Black and Tumi and Catalog comes along. Um, yeah, because uh, as I said, maybe you have seen my earlier video from uh, Seller Darling. Uh, I was just too busy yesterday and just to fuck up. Uh, I just wasn't in the mood to record this concert review, I have to be honest. And I just tell you uh, a little story about why bef before I come to the concert review. Um, because, um, yeah, I was just too drunk. I have to admit it, I know it's wrong, it's bad and everything. And I learned uh, a lot from this evening, uh, for myself. And uh, the main part is that I'm not 20 anymore. That is the main reason. For me, it's really hard to say that uh, because, um, yeah, I live my life like um, that I'm 16 or 17. Um, but sometimes you have to realize it doesn't work that way. So um, with that said, um, that is maybe you saw my Nightwish Over the Hills and Far Away reaction video on Wednesday as well. And then I uh, was talking about that I start drinking because uh, alcohol is so uh, expensive in Switzerland. Yeah, that was not the best idea to start at that point. I have to be honest, I have to say it, um, because I was a bit angry by myself, because, um, yeah, I haven't enjoyed the concert that is, uh, has deserved it, because I was looking forward so much to it, and then I just came to the arena and I just felt already too drunk for it. And that is sad, that is bad, and I think on the next concert that doesn't happen again I'm pretty sure about it because um, yeah but sometimes life is a bit hard maybe you can understand that um, especially for me because um, getting older is for me a big question in life uh, I think as for many um, but yeah but I still um, enjoyed the show and I tell you my thoughts I haven't done so many pictures and videos as uh, in my last concert reviews and so I have to thank um, the friends who brought me to the concert and brought me back uh, Laura and Schneider um, you are really great and I feel so sorry that I was so drunk really I feel so bad about it you have no idea so um, Yes, so um, um, most of the t uh, stuff is from uh, Laura. She recorded for me these um, few videos from Beast in Black and take some pictures. Um, the photos and videos from Tumi and Catalan I recorded myself uh, because at that point it wasn't so bad. Because honestly I was looking forward uh, the most to see Tumi and Catalan live, finally. Um, because yeah, Beast in Black, I saw them live three times I think and every time it was absolutely awesome but I've never seen Tommy and, uh, Tommy and Kathy Lott. and that was something I really was looking forward and I was not disappointed I was at that time totally in the game so um, yeah I will put uh, some picture in it I will see here on my left I will put them when I edit the video of course <laughs> so now um, it's for me hard um, to tell that there are some pictures because there are not some pictures at that time while I'm recording. <laughs> so maybe you get the point. But no, I was um, so looking forward to see them live because I have done a few reaction videos for them and I think they are so cool and they were live absolutely awesome. Um, much better than on the videos and the recordings in my opinion because they are just an uh, absolutely live band with this yeah, a bit curious outfits and style, but I like it because I think it's so cool when bands um, go a, a bit a different way. So I really enjoyed it. And the first thing that uh, when the concert was over was for me, oh, it was too short because I enjoyed it so much. I had so much fun um, because they have done so many great songs. I just... I uh, haven't known every song of it, of course, but um, yeah, as I said in the Faster uh, Than God video, I have done it on Tuesday. I was there and um, screaming Faster Than God. That was 
my goal and I have done it. So um, yeah, it's it said I wanted to record it when I do that, but I, yeah, as I told earlier. So um, yeah, so um, definitely great show, great live band and a perfect support act. I think that was, the crowd was so hyped and totally in the game. And I think the most of the people doesn't know the band. I'm not sure, but that was just a feeling, but they were totally in the game and they have done a great live show. And I think they will, um, are more, really more popular now here in Germany and over all Europe with this tour because, and they just deserve it. What a great life band and the next time they will come to Germany or Switzerland I definitely will be there because they're just so amazing I just love it but sadly I've missed to buy a t-shirt or something um, yeah on these evenings there were so many things went wrong with me in my head yeah I'm not 20 anymore the uh, same theme but I wanted to show you a bit of Chromium Catilot uh, live and that is what uh, is coming right now. As you saw, um, they did a great live show. I think the light work especially was so amazing and they just, yeah, such a great live band. I, I, I love them. I really love them. They're, they're so cool and in such a unique style. And yeah, maybe um, you have seen Tumi and Katerlet live uh, already, so I, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And yeah, so I hope they will have more success now here in Germany, especially because I just live here. I want to see them live and coming back. So they, uh, yeah, that is really cool that Beast in Black um, and uh, the lineup was great. Beast in Black, Tommy Kettler, what a great live lineup. So yeah, uh, Beast in Black, uh, first headliner tour, and that is really amazing um, because the first album came out, I think. Um, not even one and a half year ago. And that is so amazing that a band had the chance to uh, make a headliner tour at this state of the career. Uh, because there are many bands out there, there uh, who haven't done a headliner tour and they're existing for years. That is a bit sad. So that is amazing. I think um, it helped a lot that they were on tour with Nightwish um, in the fall of last year because many people just visit them there and just recognize how awesome they are. And they just brought out an album on the beginning of February, which is awesome for me, not as strong as the, uh, as the first one. I have said that already, but it uh, doesn't mean it's bad. I, lo uh, I, I love the album in some different ways. It's just a bit 
different, but that, that is cool. I think for the most band, the second album is the most difficult one to do. So, uh, but they did a great live show um, again. So every time I have seen Beast in Black, it was just a cool feeling. But at that point, I, as I said earlier, I was a bit too drunk. So I just, yeah, can't uh, appreciate really what they have done live. I was looking at the stage, I was in the arena, and but I, my memories are just not so good at this point. I remember a lot of great songs. They uh, started with Cry It For A Hero, um, I think the first song from the new album, and they have done a lot of songs from the first album as well. So it was a great mix up overall, and I really liked that. And so, and especially it was uh, so cool because they have more short songs and I think they have played 18 or 19 songs. Uh, something I, I haven't counted, uh, but uh, something like that. There were many cool numbers on it and with every song I wanted to hear on it, there were no song missing really. So, um, and I just fell in love and I can't remember that, that Sweet Cruel Eyes, the first single from the um, new album and I was singing along and I have met some uh, really cool people there too because at the concert I was uh, yeah hanging around with uh, some guys and talked about how great they are and the show and the uh, new album and the old album and something so I was just like um, looking at the concert and talking to people and something like that um, so yeah, but definitely they did a great job on this concert. So if you have the chance to see Beast in Black Live, please do that. An amazing headliner tour. It's the first headliner tour. And yeah, so definitely something special. And as I said, there were every song in it. A great choice by the set list, definitely. So um, yeah, cool concert. But then uh, my, my mood was a bit down because, um, as I said earlier, um, not because of the bands, the songs or anything, I have no idea what happened. I have no idea what happened. But I have to tell you the story a bit uh, because, yeah, that is what my reaction channel is all about. I tell you a bit of my life too. So um, it ended out that I'm was a bit angry with myself and just because I was too drunk and realized it and that okay my camera is fucking up again and that is the not a good point of this story but now I think it is that's my face camera look at me that's my face all right yeah so yeah I was just a bit a uh, little bit too drunk and that is awful and I hate myself for that and but yeah, it's, it's, it's like growing up, it's like growing up. I have to go a bit easier the next time and yeah, but I just feel so young in my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, it ended up that I was a bit, uh, um, yeah, not like pissed off. I was pissed off at myself and I was just, um, they're driving me home, my friends, and they did this, and I'm so glad about that. And yeah, I was just uh, sitting in the car and felt a bit lonely. That happened when I'm drunk. And the most time is that I'm when I'm drunk, I'm just happy and smiling, and yeah, I'm I'm not the aggressive one or something. Definitely not. But for me, it's at, uh, either I'm totally happy or I'm either totally sad. And in this point, I was totally sad. I can tell you why. I was just a bit, uh, you're really crying in the car. And I have no idea why. And then I was writing to my girlfriend and uh, told her um, sh uh, she just have to send me something nice. That my mood is getting better. And she did that and I'm feeling very thankful. And I'm feeling very thankful that I have such great friends who... Yeah, know me and know that sometimes I'm a bit of the top. So yeah, with that said, I have to tell you this personal story. It doesn't matter. I know with the concert. So great concert, uh, Pratteln, Switzerland. For me, the best concert hall uh, in um, the south of Germany and north of Switzerland. It's exactly um, between there. So um, 
great hall, great people. I have met a lot of nice people at that concert. And yeah, so if you have the chance to see them live, go see them live. Both of them, Beast in Black and Tommy and Cutlet. What a great uh, show. So yeah, with that said, now maybe you realize why I haven't done this video yesterday. Because yeah, I was just feeling bad and wasn't in the mood to talk um, like this that I'm not doing. And then later the day my father came around and was celebrating my birthday. I had birthday on Monday. And we just um, hanging around and go something to eat. And it was for me really cool to talk to him just about growing older and something like that. So that was the perfect thing in this moment. So sometime, uh, sometimes life is really kind uh, for everybody like for me. And yeah, I definitely talk too much. Yeah. I think I ha I have to do a, a video uh, just about my, my personal feeling about life and growing older. I think that video would go an hour or, le or, or longer. Yeah, that is something in my life. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you were on the concert too or on any concert on the live tour yet. Please tell me your thoughts about this uh, because that would be so interesting. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, and yeah, maybe you know that feeling too. I'm human, like everybody else, so I have to live with this. It's hard, but I have to live with this. <laughs> so anyone, uh, anyway guys, I hope we see us the next time. If you like this video and my concert reviews or reaction videos, please subscribe my channel. That would make my day even more great, because now I'm feeling good. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, guys. I hope we see us the next time. I'm the Stormchild. Bye.